This program is brought to you by Flatface Fingerboards and MA Productions. Today we are here in <laughs> to report on the recent acid rain in the area. As you can see, acid rain is very damaging to the environment. Just take a look at right out here. Several years of damage from acid rain can make a t big difference. As you can see, acid rain is also damaging to vehicles. Look at this. The acid rain has been very effective to this car over time. We're gonna go inside and see what the workers at Dunkin' Donuts feel about acid rain. Acid rain? No, I about acid rain. It's from like the pollution. It makes yes. the atmosphere all like dirty, and then the rain comes down and it destroys our earth, pretty much. Acid rain? Acid rain is bad because it is from us polluting our earth. It is going back into the atmosphere and like just it's like pretty much just like coming back down and destroying everything that we have to like live in around us and yeah, that's great. Let me tell you about an acid, 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 an acid rain. If acid rain would have been around, you think you would have been alive? No. <laughs> but if there would have been acid rain, we would have been melting because it's acid and acid would be... What's going on around us right now? Now we will take you to a natural building that has been badly damaged by acid rain in the 1960s, which is now abandoned because of the damage, as you can see right here. Acid rain can also make shopping carts appear out of nowhere. I have no idea how this happens. Scientists are still studying it. Acid rain can also cause damage to metals in the environment. Scientists say that you should not be caught in an acid rainstorm because you'd be damaging to your health. That's why you have to wear many layers if you do get stuck in the storm. So, as you can see, <coughs> I am covered in many layers. One, two, three. Acid rain is highly likely to be found in cities because of pollutants from smokestacks, cars, airplanes, and many more things. Although corporations are taking big strides in order to deplete the amount of toxic chemicals that they release into the atmosphere, there's still acid rain in other areas from other sources like fuel emissions from automobiles.